How do you magnify the Lord? Good morning, everyone. This is our reflection question for today. The country doctor Bruno had just said goodbye to his colleagues who had confirmed that Jean, the doctor's only son, would die in a few hours of diphtheria. The antitoxin injections had been too late. As he now sat with his wife by the boy's bedside awaiting the child's death, the doorbell rang. The doctor shouted to his secretary, I don't want to see anyone. But the visitor would not go away. It was the farmer Rivas who had walked 10 kilometers from Roseland. His son was sick. I'll come tomorrow, the doctor told him. But if you don't come now, he won't make it through the night, the farmer insisted. They began a discussion. You can cure my son, but mine's lost. He's beyond all cure, but mine isn't. Well, I'll come tomorrow morning. Then it will be too late. Let me close the eyes of my dying child, but you cannot help him any longer. As long as my son is alive, I'll remain with him. All right then, both the children will die. The doctor then asked for the symptoms of the boy's sickness, and they were the same as his son's. But it was still not too late to save him, so the doctor decided to go with the farmer. In today's gospel, Mary praises God through her hymn, The Magnificat, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. The first reading speaks of Hannah magnifying the Lord by dedicating her only son, Samuel, to the service of God as a sign of gratitude for this favor from him. Mary's son would eventually offer his life in service to the world. We too have been given what we now have by our God. We can praise Him and thank Him through our words, but it may not be enough unless we offer our lives too. Words can be cheap if not accompanied by example and effort. For us to offer more means sacrificing as much as would be needed to show our love for God, our comforts, our possessions, our dreams for ourselves, so that God's will for us of having a place in His heavenly kingdom may be fulfilled. As we reflect today of Mary's acceptance of her mission in life with faith and obedience, which is her offering to God, we ask ourselves first and foremost, what is truly our mission in life? Does this require me of something dear to me so that God's plan may be fulfilled? Does it mean I need to love those who do not agree with me, those who abuse my kindness, those who take advantage of me? Should I do good without expecting anything in return? Should I forgive and forbear in the spirit of Christmas? Should I share more with those who have less? It is not easy to respond to the call for holiness, but it is the way for us to truly receive the promises of this Christmas, peace and joy, hope and love. Let us ask the Holy Spirit to speak to us and direct us and give us the power to extend ourselves beyond our comfort zones so that we may truly magnify our Lord through our thought, word, and deed. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Heavenly Father, Let your Holy Spirit lead me to offer my life, my loved ones, and everything that I hold dear to you so that I may truly magnify your holy name. This I pray in Jesus' holy and mighty name. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.